Hello and welcome. In this video, you will learn about how Shopify manage JavaScript, CSS, and images. Also, you will learn about asset management. So if I open the asset directory here, we talked about this one in the previous video too. But in this video, I will talk in details how you can write CSS, SAS, JavaScript, and images, how you can upload them. So here is your directory called assets. And you can check out this, there is an image called GIF also. I am running the theme watch in the background. So whatever changes I bring, it will directly upload to my server, to my shop. So this is an image. You can put all your images that are like static images. You can write them in, you can put them in asset directory. Also, you have a GIF card.js. It is easy. It is just a JavaScript file and you can understand this one, whatever related to the GIF card. And if you open the other file, which is called GIF, hyphen card scss.liquid what is this one this is not a css file nor it is a sas file what is this this is a liquid file but inside this one you can write sas file if you know if you are familiar with sas or css processor like this is preprocessor language if you don't know just give it a google and see how it is going to work basically it is like css but it will extend the functionality of CSS. You can write loops, you can write variables inside this, and it will make your life a lot easy. But browser does not know this. So make sure like you cannot write SAS file and instead of CSS, you should compile them. So how this compiler stuff work, we will learn in this video. So whatever you write in this file, it is going to be pushed to the server as a liquid file, but Shopify will understand it that this is a SAS file and it will compile it based on the extension you give it. For example, if I create a file in this directory called app.scss, Shopify will upload that one, but it will not compile it for you. It must have the extension of liquid. And see, this inside this one, I can write liquid code, I can write CSS code, uh, like I can write SAS code, I can write classes, I can write, write anything here. And this is going to be handled by Shopify. As soon as they upload it to the server, you can check out, it did upload. And now I will come to my team here. As soon as they upload this one to the server, it is going to cache it. For example, as I said, you cannot write like SAS for the browser. Once it upload to the server or to the, your website, it will compile it to CSS and it will cache it for you in the browser. That's why every time you are writing something and you might expect that everything works fine and you refresh your page and everything is not working, it is because it should compile it. That will take a little while for compilation and it will cache it for you. Every time it will not compile it, that's why it cache for you. For example, if I come in this file and scrolling down, let's bring a small changes. I will say body, background should be if I check, see the keyboard shortcut sometimes work, sometimes it doesn't work. It's because I have installed some extension for VS Code. I will talk about this in the next video. Some cool extension for uh, Shopify developers. But for now, if I give the body as background of red, and let's see how it is going to function our code. You can check out, this is processing. It did upload my SAS file here. And if I refresh my page, you might expect uh, background of red for the body of this website but it didn't take effect now if you inspect element here i'm showing you how it is slow when it is going to compile your file also i will open the source code here from here you can search for the theme.scss if you check out it will it already compile it to css and the last extension is css and this number is the caching number if I open this one with the caching number, which is 16, and now we'll check out, this is going to be the body and the background is red. And if I inspect element, check out the body, we said the background should be red. They didn't work because they have another one at the top of us, which is called background color and it is going to be white. So to make it work, just come here and give it a background color and now you save it, it will instantly upload it to the to your store, depending on the speed of your computer and the speed of the internet. And then you refresh your page, and this time it should be red. Let's see, it didn't work. See, it just crossed it, because we didn't use the import in here. Oops. Import. 
important I couldn't override this one that's why so if you save it I'm just showing you how fast it is and you refresh it it is going to refresh your page for you and if you check out this file here every time you refresh it it is still red but it does not have the important why it does not have the important because the caching number was 16 and the number 16 does not have it this is like versioning it and if I refresh this page which is the source code page of my website it is 20 and if I open 20 in the new tab it already has this new file here so every time you upload it to the server it already compiled it for you and it will put it as a cache for, but in the future video I will make it a lot easy you will compile everything in the local directory and everything should work fine so for now as you can see everything works fine here and it is compiling your CSS file easily for you and everything you have to add also if you create an image here it will upload it let's just fake an image this is going to be logo.png which is not png let's see if this can this can upload it yes it can upload but this is not an image this is just an empty file it just check the extension if that is valid and it will upload it for you so that's it like that's how they are going to manage their asset if you are writing css everything will be here also you can write liquid code we will discuss more about this in the future videos but for now my point is that you should understand how this stuff is going to work here that's it for this video Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.